we got six matches for hacker replay. I think this is 62. Either 62 or 63. Pretty sure 62. Um, the very first one we're going to show is, as far as I'm aware, a completely new cheat that has not fully existed before, but we'll see. They explained it a little bit in the text document, and I think it'll be an interesting watch. So we had Dark Selafiel, who is accusing their own teammate, Carl. And I'm not entirely sure how it'll look on hack or on match replay. But I do hope it at least comes through. Assuming they actually do it in the first round. I know this is only a four round match, so... Oh, okay. So there, you can already see they started... Sliding around with the... Oh, they have the destruction sheets for sure. So they slide around. You know, we, we've seen these cheats before. This is nothing new. But it might be next round. Is where we see something new. Did they shoot? Oh, they have kill box as well. Okay. Because Ace is here. And he just took damage, even though Thunderbird wasn't looking at them. And they kill Dokubi because they have kill box. They can actually shoot through, uh, like, hard surfaces. Or actually, I guess they might not have shot through. It might have just been, like, the bullet tracing them. Whatever. So I think this is where we'll get to see it. You can see Dark Sailor Field down them. They are downed right now. They are still downed. They can move around and slide around like it's nothing. That is insane. But so their cheats ba make it where even when downed, or basically they can't be downed. They can still, they can even put down their armor. Oh, wait, 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 Okay. So here we might have the first case of this ever. So they're downed right now, okay? They can put down their armor. And picking up the armor revive them. That is so fucked up. How does that even, how does that work? Man, I, I will say I gave, I gave Cheater shit this season for not uh, having anything new or innovative, but now, now they are, they're going all out. What's crazy is that uh, blue team still wins. I guess it makes sense when this person's living one HP. Just the kill box. All right, now chat. The real question is. Do you guys think that this cheater has been banned? Well, I have their real name, so I can look it up. Do you think that they've been banned? Because there was a popular post on either the subreddit or Twitter this morning talking about how I think the the third highest ranked Xbox player has a 280 KD. They haven't been banned, so I'm curious if this person's been banned. Most of the chat says no.
Let's look them up. Because Dark Sellafield gave us their real username. Oh, I forgot to move my camera. And I forgot to turn on the lights. Oh my god. But their name was Carl2012.bp. Oh, that was an unranked. Oh, they have been banned. Okay. It, it took them a whole day after, but they, they did get banned. I think the UB devs must have finally gotten the Varsity Gaming Charm because for once they have good reaction time. If you want to improve your reaction time, you can also get the Varsity Gaming Charm by subbing to my Twitch channel for free with Twitch Prime or with $5. All right, so we got the new cheat showcased. And now we're going to move on to, I think it's this one, Consulate. Yeah, so we have H23N22 dot, who is accusing the Thermite with a, or er, not, oh yeah, yeah, Thermite 312, so stream mode name. What is this strategy? I feel like that's not going to work out for them. Oh. Guys, they, uh, they might be cheating. Or, or, maybe their drone is just super athletic. In the defense of the cheater, the enemy team seems awful. So, uh... Yeah, I don't, I don't think we need to watch too much more. We, we know they're cheating. It's just skill, bro. True. Damn. This was like me in elementary school when we had to do track and field. This was me during the high jump. I just fucking went to the moon. I just love Dex, bro. Are they moving faster than normal? Can't really tell. I just love Dex, bro. Also, thanks for subs from Shucky, not MSN, something inside, and I think I missed a few others. I'll go check after. Oh my god, this guy is either so bad or this is just uh I was gonna say or this is just the cheats bugging out his screen but is he just that bad? Okay, there he got a kill. What the fuck was that? Oh my god, and then he dies? Bruh. I'm invested in this match now. He's so bad. Oh, he goes Finca now. Wee. Oh, they have the, like, destructive shots, because they just destroyed that barricade in one shot. Oh. Yeah. Like, they weren't, you know, hiding it before, but I wonder if they just, like, activated even more cheats. Who wins? I assume the cheater. Yeah, the cheater wins. I don't think we have their real name, but we can try to find it. Um, it's H two three N twenty two dot. Oh, match history. This was on the twenty third. 
I did not have R6 tracker open. Um, who else was in that match? Not an R6 tracker user. Zachman.89. Nope. Decuff. Dot dot. Nope. Oh my god, no one has that. Liquid X Logan. Nope. Death lies. Dot. Nope. That. Oh, actually, no, Golden Glizzy is not a. Sermode mode name. Nope. Gulo, which means ass. Oh. Oh, okay. I just love decks, bro. Casual, 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 casual. Actually, unranked counts as casual, right? Okay, round six. What did Kulo end at? Thanks for sub your request. Um, so what's the 23rd? So it'll probably be this. Oh, well, yeah, why is it saying Sunday the 24th? That's today. Oh, it must be off by a bit. So he ends six and three. So it's this match. Okay, we found it. Oh, he's actually queued with the thermite guy, whose name is Samantha sixty nine sixty nine, who has not been banned yet. Okay, all it took was a lot of sleuthing, but we found them. But they were so it was Kulo, Aviatrix, and Thermite queued together. Golden Glizzy and Death Allies were not in that same party. I wonder if they've been queued together a bunch, played with, uh, just two or three matches. But they must know he's cheating, so... Damn, that's crazy. Okay, well, two matches, two cheaters. Oh, I actually got the right one, okay. So it's Lettuce, or L Litus, I don't know, RL, Rocket League, who's accusing... Is this supposed to be... Is WSG what's good? Either way, it's WSG gangy. And we have no audio for some reason. Oh, just kidding. We got ambient noise and nothing else. Oh, no, never mind. We're good, we're good, we're good. Uh, bands are Zombie and Ying on the orange side. Also, no one reinforced hatches. Do you think that UB could sue the con or the cheat creators? Yes, they could, and they have, and they are. Um, but it is a very long process and very hard to do because majority of the cheat creators are based out of China, which is a country that basically will just say fuck you to any type of like international police force trying to um, do anything. Or really any international court. Just like, eh, we don't really care. Um, China itself has been cracking down a little bit on cheats. I know they've raided a few places and taken all the money back or whatever, but I don't think they're consistently doing that. Mm. I think they really only care if it's uh, cheats for a game that's being developed in China. Okay. Uh, first round, and that guy was lost. Let me make sure it's the right person. No, it is. Maybe they, maybe they toggle on later. He did seem a little preemptive on those shots, but it could have been. Uh, random chance, first instance. <clears throat> I will say that, uh, the lobby as a whole doesn't look the greatest, so... This could be someone who's just better than the rest, and maybe, like, you'll actually start trying in a few rounds, who knows. It's 
accidentally cheats will never go away realistically no people talk about how like in valorant you'll never run into cheaters and stuff but like they do still happen and they still do occur even with their amazing anti-cheat i mean spoit had just posted a clip from like two days ago or something where he's like i can't escape cheaters and he <clears throat> was in a match of valorant where someone like sprinted out of their spawn and just killed everyone instantly Even in games with good anti-cheat, cheating will still occur from time to time. Okay. Um, all I really noticed from that round is that his aim seems atrocious, so... You put a goo at the front door. What a play. Did look like a little bit of a lineup there, I will admit. And it does look like he knows that they are no longer pushing front door, so he's running away from it. Great goo yet again. Any hackers yet? The first two matches were very blatant cheaters. This one is a little less obvious, but I'm starting to get, you know, hints of walls. And now AFK. Just straight AFK. Does he know about Hibana here? Just runs right by the Hibana. And dies. Okay. The beginning of the round seemed a lot more suspicious than the second half of the round. Mm, Chad. Chad is already claiming that he is walling, but he hasn't really done anything suspicious yet, so we can't really say it for sure. Now, if he starts, like, blatantly toggling, then obviously we'll know. Oh, it just runs right past the person's server. Okay. I can't even claim that that kill on Cav is suspicious, because if it... If they knew that they were there, they would have killed them the first time through. Instead, they just ran back after their teammate died. I haven't Mavericked a hatch in so long. This guy does not know how to do it though. He already used, I think, two canisters and got one line. I think it's supposed to be one canister, he should be able to get two lines, or a line and a half. That was a reaction shot. Then he's dead? Oh, maybe not. <clears throat> Might get saved. Oh, my voice. Why is it going? Could be from lack of water I drank yesterday. I think I drank, like, not even two cups. Okay... Now, that is possible. That could be like, okay, I, I heard my teammate die from this side. It is possible to aim over there and be like, okay, they must be over here because they just killed my teammate, especially if they had a call out. 
but to like completely control your shot on that one spot instead of like trying to spray across and get whatever possible hits seems a little weird because most people will just <coughs> control it on one or not control it they'll let it spray because it's better to just cover as much ground as possible than to just shoot one specific spot that they might not be in And then he dies to the smoke. Okay. Maybe. So we're, we're at a maybe right now. I still don't think that's guaranteed cheating because, like I said at the beginning of the round, if he was very blatantly walling, I think he would have killed that uh, cav in server. He ran right past the cav and didn't even look at them. Meaning if the cav had swung, he would have died. But, he didn't die. What happened here? Okay. That was the first time they've been on drone all game. And then they die to the dock. Okay. I would definitely say that they are slightly suspicious, but yeah, I would agree that they are not classified as cheating yet because they haven't really done anything that would be like, oh, this person's cheating for sure. There's no possible proof you could provide that would make them innocent. All they've done just seem a little dumb. And sometimes it works. Second time ever droning or going on cams. That seemed that seemed reactionary, right? I think they saw them and then Yeah. And then aimed on site. They weren't aimed on site ahead of time or ready for it. Oh my god, they're hacking. They have a Twitch drone beam coming out. Self report? No, this isn't a self report. I guess it could be them being like, real report me, I'm your friend, blah, 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 but I doubt it is. We can look at it after, see if they're queued together, but doubt it. Um, so far, yeah, I haven't really seen anything. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll check the file, see if they said anything. They said that they think he toggled on round three or four, but the dude is eight and five, like... I would hardly call that a toggle. Round three was defense. Round four was their first attack round when they were... When we noted that they shot at that person through the wall. Around three, I don't remember there being anything weird. So, I don't know. I feel like the aim is a little weird at times, but overall gameplay is less good. So, I feel like this dude is just getting lucky. I would agree. I do think that uh, anything that we've seen so far hasn't been like too suspicious. Right there, there's shooting. No one's there. No one's even close to there. They actually almost shot someone in the closet, but the closet people are shooting at someone on blue stairs. So they could be like, hey, they're pushing closet, closet, closet. And then he just goes for a random spray across. on a mute jammer so that they can move during a lion scan that's already over and then leaves the vicinity of the mute jammer this one action here um, which I went way too far back this action over here does seem like a cheater with walls where they look around but I actually think what happened right there is that Hibana shot through the wall as mute crossed Turning him around, because he's like, oh shit, someone just shot at me, where are they? And then they look over there and like, oh no, we're good. 
And they run back because they realize the person shot out the wall since there's a hole in the wall now. And then you'd be able to hear that. Just looking around to see where it is. Gets the kill. It's free. I don't think there's cheats going on here. reactionary. Very good reaction, though. And then takes the SMG-11. Bold. Innovative. When he got down, maybe told his teammate through hot mic the mute wasn't pushing up and Lettuce, who was reviving, thought that that was suspicious, but I just think Lettuce is bad. I mean, they said that they t report him because they think that he toggled on in round 3 or 4, which... Both rounds. I can't even remember what happened in round three. I don't think it was that bad. But round four for sure was just like, you know, one suspicious thing, but nothing really else has happened, so you can't really say they're cheating off of that one suspicion. You'd be able to hear them sprinting to the stairs. I mean, they popped off, they got a quad there, but, uh... I don't think any of it was weird. All of it had, like, reasonable explanations. I will say that, like, he seems to have gotten better over the course of a game, but... How many times am I playing a game where I just do fucking nothing in the first, like, five rounds, and then I ace in the sixth round? Happens all the time, chat. I ace all the time. But, like... Oh. And everything he's reacting to. If you're cheating, unless you're like just a professional cheater and this is all you do all day every day, you're not going to be able to master the art of faking a reaction. Because like he's almost never aiming down sight for an actual gunfight beforehand. He always reacts to it. That was an interesting one my placement that worked. Hi, Peter. And like right there, his aim was trash, and he couldn't decide between the two people. I don't think he's cheating. They are bronze player or silver player, bronze. Um, I would guess at most they are a higher rank player who D ranks and then tries to shit on bronze and silver players. I don't think they're cheating. Either he has a render distance on his wall hack, or he's clean. Do people do that? Do cheaters put on a like a arbitrary render distance so that they don't see people from across the map? That's actually kind of smart. I never even thought about that. I'd be curious to see how that gets broken down. Um, this should be the next match. It is not. Oh no, it is the next match. We have Sweevy, who's accusing their own teammate, Ape O. That's just what I would do if I was a cheater. I don't think you can do that, though. I don't think that's a thing. I've never heard of it, at least. Oh, I hate Border because it has all these visual bugs in the match replay. I hate that. I hate the render bugs. Ugh. I almost want to say, alright, well we know they're cheating, <laughs> I'm going to say, I want to say that they are cheating only because they very obviously ran up to the mirror and were they weren't afraid of anyone being on the other side of it. Granted, it, it is a mirror on the double reinforced wall, so it's not like they could get shot at, but no, this guy's definitely cheating. He was prepared for that Malusi through the wall. 
and he also like aimed at the Mira right after killing the Malusi, and then realized that Mira was through a wall. And now they just sprint across the map. This team is horrible with nades. Some people shouldn't be allowed to have nades. Doesn't have grenades anymore. Pretty sure he is walling off his tits. We'll do another round just to make absolute sure. That Belusi kill was all too suspicious. It almost felt like they were... Oh. 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 Hmm. Well. They're definitely cheating. A part of me, I, I'm like, I'm, I want to watch another round just because, I'm like, okay, you know, the thorn w did run out, like, you know, it's possible to be like, no, they're right here, they're right here, but they were literally aiming at them like, head level through the wall. I don't think there's any way they weren't cheating, but we didn't get to get enough proof since they died early. But there's like a 99.9% .9 chance that they're cheating. Yeah, they're cheating. They literally aimed at him crouch level after seeing him standing. And he just looked at him through the wall there. He's looking at him. He's ready. He's whiffing because he's trash. Okay, he's cheating. That's crazy. He got really confused probably because he doesn't have an outline on that. He's like, why do I see someone there? He still loses that gunfight. Who wins? Oop. Wrong, wrong one. What is the solution here? Do you think Ubisoft can actually crack down on all this cheating? This isn't the best solution, but I think their best chance right now is I guess this we were talking about money earlier. This is a solution that money could buy. Is they just need to pay more people to just like watch reports and ban people immediately. Because the fact that it takes them uh, like weeks on average to ban someone is insane. Most people can go cheating for like a whole week and they won't get banned. It's not really a sustainable option. But it's really their only bet if they want to actually keep the game alive. Because it's not like they're going to completely develop a whole new anti-cheat. Uh, surprisingly, this person has already been banned for cheating. I will say that was, uh, that was two people I've seen got, get banned within a day, which is not normal for Battleline. Normally it takes them at least a week to ban. So maybe they already did do that. Maybe they've already gotten more people in the case. But yeah, it's... I don't know. I think that's like one of the only things they can do is just get more people. Anything else though is not really like a money can buy this type situation. It's like a they're gonna have to completely take time to redevelop a whole new anti cheat. That's their other option. Moving into the next match, we have Implicit Pilot who is accusing Good Ping uh, two nine three their teammates. So many people have been accusing their teammates today. This says a lot about the honesty of the average siege viewer. And have cheater dedicated servers for casual and unranked. Are you I'm assuming you mean instead of like queuing up for a cheater game, you're saying like what GTA does where they have shadow bans and people get sent to the cheater servers and they don't realize it until they've wasted enough time there. They could do that, but is it really is it worth having servers set up just for them? Also, with how sieges, it probably wouldn't be hard to sell and be like, oh, alright, time to make a new account. Which, I could be wrong. I believe at the end of the day, one of the good things that GTA 5 does for cheating is that the price of the game is still high. I'm pretty sure even on sales, it's still like 20 bucks. Siege on sale is like 5 bucks. 
Or people just make free accounts on the free weekends. I don't think GTA does that, but I could be wrong. That was not a headshot. This guy definitely has the aim assist cheats. I think. Let me see. Yeah, he probably has aim assist cheats. Oh, chat. The other day, on like, I, I posted a short slash TikTok slash reel showing someone with aim assist cheats, which is, as you can tell there. So this is what aim assist is for cheating. When you shoot at someone's like toe and you get a headshot. Or even you completely miss the shot and you get a headshot. I posted this and every single comment was like, you have no idea what you're talking about. This is just match replay being buggy. No, this is a well-known cheat that has been around for like three years. It's called aim assist or like soft aim or whatever that you can miss your shots and it'll still kill the person. Well, you have no idea. This person just, you know, it's match replay bug. Like, God damn, comments are stupid. That was the only one that was probably a headshot. Uh oh. Oh, what the fuck? That person just d appeared. Okay, so they got three people by pool, one person over there. He obviously knows the giant goes over here. Headshot. People in the comments will still say it's just match replay bugging out. And you know what? They'll double down on it, and they're gonna be like, "You have, you still have no idea what you're talking about. That was just a match replay bug." And yet somehow this person killed two people. He killed the sledge across the map. But they'll still say it's a match replay bug. Sledge just got 180 headshotted with the aim assist bug. That's crazy. I believe that is a stream mode name, but I'll, I'll try to look them up anyways. Uh, that one was... What are these advertisements, bro? <laughs> Uh, what was that? So it was unranked. It would count as the 24th. Good ping. Wow, that was lucky. Uh, this person is icy and they have an 8.79 KD in casual. But don't be fooled by this high KD. It is definitely just a match replay bug. They have not been banned. <laughs> nice ads. I don't know. Whatever I say at this point, you guys are going to be like, what are you doing? Why are you getting those ads? Ooh. I can't say anything. Um, so I assume you is the person submitting this. Uh, but they submitted their real name and then they are reporting Noel underscore dot underscore. Show us your search history. I don't even think, like genuinely, I don't think I could have even searched up anything that would pull up ads like that. What have I even done over the last 24 hours? Well, yesterday wasn't even really on my computer. Um, the last thing I remember doing when I actually had to look something up was I bought the Lego Treehouse and Lego Saturn V sets. Which, I mean, I guess that might pull up an ad to say, am I gay type thing. Lego has a... Love everyone set, so makes sense. I just love dicks, bro. Thanks for some adorable nugget. And Collie X and Pack Runner, I think I missed that one. CJ Mar. Wanna see you and Priest on the game Friday thirteenth during the California dance? Isn't uh, Friday thirteenth kind of a dead game though? Someone had told me about that before. They're like, Oh, I loved your Dead by Daylight game play. I would love to see you play Friday thirteenth even though it's dead. So Oh. By Lego Star Wars. <laughs> Lego Star Wars sets are the most boring sets on planet Earth. It's just gray pieces on gray pieces on gray pieces. None of them are fun to build. So far, this person hasn't done anything, by the way.
<clears throat> they did kind of just like slow check that as if they knew, but I'm sure someone was like, hey, they're on site, or they, they have valve cameras somewhere. Give this man a Mad Max Fury Road Lego send he'll bite in a heartbeat. Uh, it would depend if it was just, you know, beige pieces on beige pieces of a wild wasteland, then no, I wouldn't, but if they were like the cars or, I don't know, some type of cool landscape, then sure I would. The Lego Adidas shoe? I saw that, um, nah, not my thing. Okay, he did look over at that one person crouched twice, but it's, if they were cheating, I feel like they would have sat there and waited for them to leave so that they could kill them. The pre-fire there was a little weird, but let me see, let me go back. Doc was on a bulletproof cam, which was on the left, which might be able to see the Maverick. Oh, yeah. Actually, I can see them, but that was after when I already shot at them. Okay. Mm. Alright, they're cheating. So, obviously here is the obvious one. They're aiming at them through the wall and trying to light it up, but then here, what's hilarious is that they are so bad at cheating that they don't realize the Hibana, or no, who is that? Finca? Finca who's running across here. They don't realize that they're outside, so then they accidentally shoot because they're like, oh shit, Finca's running down the stairs, and they try to shoot and they're like, oh, never mind, they're not there anymore. I am willing to bet that they are cheating just off of those, or that round, and that. No way, this person actually just flicked them through the wall and then tried to line it up. Oh my god. Alright, let's see, who wins? I wanna know, I'm assuming the cheater wins. Oh, they did team kill, but the cheater still wins. Did they just go like full blatant at the end? Uh, I think they did. Yep. Love dick. They definitely did. What's hilarious is that you can tell this guy doesn't really know what he's doing as a cheater because there is a drone hole right here and he could throw a grenade and kill all of them. Instead, he's using infinite ammo cheats. Oh. Now he did it. So they team killed him. Oh, for squad. Activated for Noel. Squad, Krusty Hans 17 is with him. The other people just didn't seem to care that much, I guess. Looks like a fucking bloodbath. So Krusty Hans with them, but Krusty Taz must be with them as well. Oh, but they already had reverse from the fire, so I think this was a four stack. I think Sklaz was the only one who wasn't with them. Hmm. Let's look them up. Level 59, already been banned. Granted, that match was from five days ago. They got banned three days ago. And they played with Krusty. Oh, they played with the Carl guy from the beginning. Um, but they played with Krusty who didn't play with the other Krusty? There's no way there were two random Krustys together. Oh, well. This guy is Diamond, by the way. Or has reached Diamond before. And he basically only plays with cheaters. I'm more confused how uh, the two crusty people weren't together. Somehow the crusty guys were not cute together. But that is it for. Um, oh, actually, wait, wait. The one person did give us their name. Maybe they have R6 Tracker. Oh, okay. Here it is. I found it. 
So they weren't with Padblaze, but they were with both the Krusties. Interesting. The three of them are playing together. Krusty Taz is the one that we saw before. And Krusty Hans is another one who has now changed her name. Oh, that's why... Okay, when I looked at Krusty Taz has played with Hister, I was like, there's no Krusty person here. It's Offsets. He changed his name because he is getting boosted. They actually both paid... Both the Krusty people paid that person to boost them. Insane. Well, now that's going to be it for Hacker Replay. So we had one, two, three, four, five cheaters today. And one innocent. What a day.